All right, welcome to Sydney CBD. Town Hall right here. And uh, we're in the center of the city. Before we kick it off, I'm Dave. This channel's dedicated to giving you no BS, novel, dating advice for the modern man. Top link in the description to check out my website. And we are in the center of the city doing some cold approach as usual. It's uh, very busy, lots of flow, which is great for newbies. Uh, larger, uh, larger volume doesn't necessarily mean better results. This is a misconception, but this video is about misconceptions. And uh, I want to talk about the openers. Now, there is a huge misconception about openers. Whenever I hear someone ask the question, what is your opener? I instantly know, one, they've either been following the wrong information online, two, they've got some coaching from a guy who doesn't even do enough cold approach to understand that the opener isn't that important or there shouldn't be a canned line as an opener in general, or three, you're just a bit of a theory junkie and you haven't even tried cold approach at all and you don't need any theory at all to go out there and try approaching yourself. Which means if you do do some coaching or watch these videos, then if you're not taking uh, this information then and trying to apply it, then you're never actually going to understand what's going on anyway. So a lot of the guys, when they talk about openers, I have, one thing I've learned over the past two years getting a lot of clients is that most of the coaches out there and most of the information out there from guys that aren't even doing any enough cold approach to fully understand that the opener doesn't necessarily matter so much it's like maybe 10 percent of everything that's involved in a cold approach like think about it does she even know you're going to approach is she aware that you're there are you just popping up next to her and surprising her is she aware so positioning is really important. This is one of the things I teach my guys. The thing is, if your positioning is sneak up behind someone and go, ha, ah, hello, canned opener. I saw you from over there. I had to come over and meet you. She's like, huh? and she's, she's going to be shocked. She's not going to know that you're talking to her. There's going to take a few seconds for her to adjust to what's going on. And then when she does adjust, then she's going to be like, what does this guy want? He's going to look at you. So. If you're positioning yourself well, people talk about IOIs, but let's just say we're not talking about IOIs, let's just say that you're in her vicinity and she's aware that you're there and then you open your mouth, it's a little bit smoother than surprising her by jumping in front of her, which is the extreme on the other end of the spectrum. When people talk about openers, you instantly know that they don't know what they're talking about when it comes to cold approach. They just don't know because if you go and approach, your opener often isn't properly registered in their mind. Because think about it, let's just say, uh, I don't know you and I come and jump in front of you or go and approach you. For the first like five seconds, one, two, three, maybe three to five seconds, you're still just registering, who am I? Is this person talk? You've heard something. Is this, is this voice of this person? You look, who is the person? Are they talking to me? Who is, like, have, have a look at me to see if I'm a, a robber or a murderer, male or female, try to figure out who I am or what I am. It takes about three seconds to register uh, what you want what, what does this person want when they're talking to me? So really when you think about it, if you're opening, that opener is never actually registered in her mind because she doesn't actually see it coming. And she doesn't see you coming if you've got the wrong positioning. So that's one factor of it. It's also the environment. Where are you opening from? So all of these factors matter more than what comes out of your mouth, especially in the first three to five seconds. So if guys are there telling you, hey, look, uh, here's your magical opener, when in three to five seconds, she cannot register whether you're even talking to her or whether what you are talking about and trying to figure out in her mind what is going on and whether you, what you want and 
whether she even wants to talk to you at all, how valuable is the opener if the person you're talking to doesn't even know what, doesn't even register in their mind? They need a few seconds to adjust. And so when you think about it this way, when you hear guys talking about openers, then um, you know that they don't know what they're talking about or they haven't done enough uh, approaches to fully understand that women are not even adjusting within those three to five seconds. So, then you also need to take into account, obviously, like just say you're in a nightclub, you can open from all different angles in a nightclub, it's a bit more chaotic, it's a different, it's a different sport, there's less skills, your verbals don't need to be as good, you can open with the most ridiculous thing, your vibe is more important. You, one, of the, one of the other factors in a nightclub uh, on how you approach and what your openers, openers would be, would be how big are you compared to the other men around you and is it dangerous for you to approach? You have to have situational awareness on the dangers involved in each approach depending on how big you are and, and how possibly dangerous it is for you to make that approach. During the daytime, a lot of the guys, they, they have the same canned openers and no one's really registering what they're saying for the first three to five seconds, let alone in a nightclub where it takes a lot less skill. You've got a lot of guys in their 20s that just spam approach everything and they're the biggest, tallest guy in the room. They're less likely to get knocked out or punched or threatened by other guys in these mixed sets that they'll be getting into. And so when you start digging deeper on what cold approach is and, and uh, how to open a set, almost all the information you can grab it and throw it in, in the rubbish bin because it is useless. And I'm still at the stage where I'm not getting enough clients, but what I often do is I get a lot of clients that are, um, uh, they've already done coaching with someone else and it hasn't worked and I'm like their second or third option down the track and they spent all this money then they eventually come to me now I'm hearing this all the time from them that they were told canned lines how to open and I have to get them to unlearn everything that they've been taught and we need to start from scratch so this is just a little bit of a taste of what I bring to the table. If you are struggling out there, you're struggling to get results, then um, like this massive guy behind you, imagine if he's in a big set and you just go in there and he just goes bang, knocks you out. You gotta have awareness. But on the, on the flip side, if you're in a club and you are this guy behind me, then, well, you have less threats. You can open everything in the nightclub. So anyway. If you are having trouble with this, go to the top link in the description, check out the website and sign up to do some cold approach coaching with myself. I'll, um, that's just a taste of it. I'll see you guys in the next video.